All right. How are we all doing? Welcome to Manor Lords. Welcome, welcome. My, uh, my, like, what a drinking vessel is, uh, is invisible. Oh, God, I'm listening to myself. I can hear myself. Is invisible. Oh, God, I'm listening to myself. I can hear myself. Why can't I hear myself? All right, there we go. That's fine. Anyway, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? Dude, how good is this music, huh? Before we get going, I have to say that nothing here is a review. It's all my opinions. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to tell you whether you should or should not get this game. But we're going to crack on. Right. I'm going to pick one of these. What are, what are we feeling, huh? Which one of these are we going for? I like I like Jacob. He seems like a, like a cheeky lad. We're starting a new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're starting a completely new game. The spam, spam. Okay, how about this? Spam the, a name that you want me to use. And I'll pick someone who represents that name. Let's see. Anthony, Jerry, Sebastian, Graham. Uh, uh, Graham's good. Peter. Man said Adolf. No, we're not doing that. Gary. I like Gary. Um, I mean, this is probably Gary. Or this. Gaz. There you go. We'll call him Gaz. Gaza. There you go. All right, I don't want to spend too long uh, designing these. All right, what do you think Gaza likes? Oh, God, I'm clicking things. Okay, <laughs> me on my way to make the most god-awful signal. That's actually, I don't hate that. I really, yeah, I really don't hate it. Um, I know a lot of people might. I quite like that. There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Now, how do we want to do this? Because um, I'll be honest, later on we have a video coming out where I did it on, where I play Man Lords on like the hardest possible difficulty that's coming out today. And I'll tell you, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's rough. So I'm, I'm thinking what we could do restoring the piece. Standard restoring the piece start and go for that. I reckon so. Alright. Crack on. There we go. Let's see how far we get to completing the game. Alright. I was about to ask how many of you are playing it. But um, I, I guess none of you are. None of you can play Man Lords. It's just me. Alright. Got a new message coming in. I know these lands under my rule. Alright. Skip all future tours. I don't need that. I'm already a pro. I'm really not. Okay, so this is Imanruth, but Gaza doesn't come from Imanruth. What does Gaza come from? Let's, uh... So this dude has asked three times now in chat. Can you do an ancestry tress, uh, test, please? Um, all might Tunisian. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I want to prove... Newcastle, of course! Newcastle. There you go. Bang. All right, so uh, we've got some stone nearby. That's kind of useless. It's kind of the worst one for us to get, but but berries are good. Lots of berries are good. I think we'll get set up mostly in this region. We've got a road coming in here. There you go. All right, so those of you who don't know, this is these are our people, and the cool thing is we can walk around. Hello. This is really cool. So you can build out your village and then walk around for a little bit. But let's actually build something before we get cracking with that. So the first thing we're going to need um, is some more timber. So let's construct ourselves a logging camp. I'm just going to need food. Okay, let's get a logging camp. I'm thinking marketplace and like living area is going to be over here. So let's pop this over here. There's some clay close by, which is nice. And we're going to want some meat so let's get one of these we're also gonna need some firewood and that sort of stuff and a saw pit so let's get a woodcutter's lodge i like doing it real close by so we'll keep everything roughly in the same area 
That'll do. That's a horrible road I've just seen. That's okay. I'd love to get a saw pit as well. Get that very close by. Saw pits are very annoying. All right, I think that's like initially what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be running with. Okay. Have we played Bannerlord before? Yeah, I like Bannerlord. What is Gazza like Henry the Eighth? They're distantly related. Where do you think Gaza comes from, huh? Right, so we're gonna run off and do that. The only issue is the supplies are kind of far away. So is the hitching post. Let's move the hitching post over here. Chuck that on the corner. Kind of feels like a mix of Banish and AoE to me. I, I don't want to banish this. Saw pit's not needed yet. Yeah, it is. What do you mean it's not needed? I absolutely need a saw pit. You think I mess around? You think I mess around? You don't understand. You'll see in the video tonight. I, I'm fresh off of the hardest start in the game where you start with no supplies. It's winter uh, and high penalties. Everyone automatically leaves like within a couple of minutes. Like you don't have a chance to do anything. So in my head, I've already built like I'm building this to like the burgers plot level threes and how is it all going to come interconnected so yeah build house on infertile land bro i want it to be fertile just so i just because i can and if in this village they play the game where they tie a cat to a pole and kick it to death i don't want to live here yeah it's it's our it's our pastime it really is all right let's crack on Yeah, high construction priority, and then we're going to get this lot to um, build some houses. It's kind of rough, these supplies. You need to build the storage as soon as possible. What's this? I've heard of your renown. I seek only to defend my rights and those and my honor make against those who had wronged me. I hope you're not judged me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. The only thing I can say back to him is, you have no rightful claim to say Blitz and Hofstetten. You cur. I, I added the cur part. Because those are the territories he owns. He's the big bad guy. There's also outlaws, and I can talk to them and just say, another dog has crawled here. There you go. Hit him with that. Show him I'm not scared, but I'm terrified of bandits in this game. All right. So now we can actually... Where, where am I? I've spun around, and now I'm confused. I don't know where I am. That's because that's not my territory. Fantastic. We need to get to these seasonal deposits as sort of as soon as possible as well. All right. Logging camp is done. Let's get some burgers plots. Burgers plots are our bread and butter. So, if we're gonna have the marketplace around here, we should probably have the houses close by. Let's have the marketplace here and have the houses close by, like here. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, I'm on this side. There you go. There you go. I need 16 for that many. I need five right now. How much timber do I have? Not enough. All right, let's get everyone on timber then. Don't just, don't just keep forgetting where your kingdom is. Yeah, I, I hate it when that happens, man. I forget where I am. It's very confusing for me. All right, a couple more bits and pieces of uh, timber here. And then we'll actually start using the timber on this side. Where's he putting it? Put it here to the woodcutter's lodge. That makes sense. Why do you set up a farm first so you can collect the harvest this year? We don't need that. We'll be fine. We've got loads of berries and uh, and some wild animals, so we should be okay. We'll set up for next year. Uh, this is a bit far away, really. Eh, we'll be fine. Get you building. Uh, drop one of you off to help you build. Let's go. Or is he going to regret that? Nah. You should make a granary supp supply spoilers for not sort of. I've played this game before. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, but this is not one of them. Oh boy. Everyone's homeless. Okay. Round there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. That's ideal. Build those. Chat is babysitting. They do that. Also, don't forget to get another rocks. Oh, <laughs> Christ. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you got a back seat over <laughs> I don't mind. I honestly don't. But I will. Okay, here's the thing. 
You can absolutely give me advice when playing video games. I have no issue with that. Be, well, be warned that I will probably not react well to it if I know what is going on. I'll react very, very well if I know what is going on. So that's the risky run. Just so you're aware. There's a lot of little things to remember. Yeah, there are. It's quite a forgiving game. Like, high difficulty it's not. Like, high difficulty you are. You're having a rough time. Right, the only issue is I built this kind of far away. But he'll be fine. Alright, and then I've got my marketplace. Now I just need some storage. Uh, put a storehouse here. And I'll put the pantry close to it as well. I'm kind of haphazardly putting this down. I don't really think too hard about these things. Everyone's upset because they're homeless. Oh, look at me. I have to live in the dirt. Like, chill, you know? Should I buy this game or should we buy this game? I, I am not legally allowed to tell you anything right now. All right, people should start moving into these plots now. All right, and we're off to the races. Settlement level increased. So, after getting settlement uh, level, we can do this stuff. So we can purchase these like things. Better deals. I will. I'm gonna say this now. Getting trade logistics and then getting better deals, like it makes the rest of the game a lot, a lot easier because the price for importing and exporting is basically the same, right? So if you want to import something, it's super cheap, super cheap. It's like ridiculously cheap. But I don't want to do that. I want, I want my life a little bit harder. So I think what we're going to do are some things that I've never... I hope we could double the capacity of all berry deposits. That could be fun. I'm doing it. It's like, you shouldn't do that. But I'm doing it for fun. So, yeah. Look at, the, look at that. Look at the berry deposits. Which, <laughs> we're going to be the berry kings. Okay, so the construction's been completed there. Uh, let's grab some woodcutters. Because we don't have any fuel. Uh, you got meat. It's cool. Okay, now we've got to hope that more families move in. Uh, they'll move in if we have, like, enough things for them to, to enjoy, right? So that means we need fuel, food variety, and clothing. So if I run up and grab, so we've already got some bread. But if we run up and get some berries, we should be okay. And I can find out where people are. If I click this, click people, you can see where they're going. In this case, they're gathering berries. And then they'll go and make a market stall. And a firewood stall. So that means that people will start actually having things. It's kind of rainy, man. It's good. Oh no, get him guys playing a game for fun. Wow, yeah. So all games are played for fun, technically. Hope they don't starve to death his favorite pastime. Man, I, I hope they're not starved to death. It'd be annoying if they starved to death. I'll be annoyed at the people. Okay, let's... um. We need to get these, these storage stuff done sort of as quickly as possible. We have enough timber. You don't need to do that anymore. Just going to run around that day. Again, cool thing. I can just do this. They have voice lines, which I didn't expect. Hello. I'd like to purchase some of your wares, some firewood. Interesting. Come on, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. It's just, it's such a, a, a fun little detail. You can see you've got berries there. And, uh, and obviously the meat. Cheers, mate. Have I tried researching line infantry? Not yet. We're getting there. Okay, so now we have a militia. We get an armament delivery so we, our people can, you know, actually fight. So they can stave off raiders. Okay, we need a little bit more food variety. So we just need more berries, basically, and we're fine. 
So you can see here that if I hover over this, it it deals with the people closer to the market first. So a couple of berries and we'll have full market uh, food variety, uh, which people like. Uh, and fuel just needs to make sure you have enough fuel for the people. Might have to wait until the 26th that the devs letting us wait on purpose. I want to give them my, my money. Uh, well, this is obviously early access. The couple of uh, kinks that will be that'll be worked out soon. And uh, yeah, they never gets their hands on it. I'm very, very fortunate to have um, have my hands on this. All right. So now we just need more families moving. We have space for one more, but we need the uh, actual f like. <laughs> They need to like us first. A lot of times they're waiting. I'm not sure why. Why are you not working in the middle of the night, man? Honestly. How much will it be? I'm not sure, actually. There's firearms in the game. There's no, there are no firearms. Don't worry. I want to see what happens when I hit my genetic, uh, my genetic, my generic storage cap. Exposed goods, supplies. Yeah, I should probably. Okay, it's stone and, and firewood. Uh, well, let's, we're gonna attach someone to the storage house, and they should go and pick those up. Ah, oh, great. The bandits stole 11 meat. Where are the bandits? They're, that, they're so far away. It's a lot of food they stole, man. Okay, storage is full. Woodcutter's Lodge. That was by design. Is, this is my Yeah, this is my area. Uh, I always have an issue with like with the amount of wood there is. So now what we're gonna do is get some of the granary to start shifting all these berries. And I want even more berry hunters. In fact, let's get a wood cutter, uh, wood camp where was well, stone camp. Sorry, stone cutter camp over here because I want to start building a church. So the storehouse guy is actually going to go set up on the market stall as well. Cannot wait for this game to come out. Well, I can't wait until... Let me check. Let me check what date I'm allowed to give my opinion on this. I think it's the 19th. 24th. Yeah, so on the 24th I can I can give an official review. But until then I can I can I'm allowed to tell you what I like and dislike about the game to be clear. Um but I I will tell you that I am enjoying it. Uh hence why I'm 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 playing it right now. Uh not that I dislike YouTube, I actually like it a lot, but you plan to Twitch again. Maybe I mean I can tell you that 16 minutes ago, someone followed. 20 minutes ago, someone followed. 23 minutes ago, someone followed. Like, people still follow me on Twitch. How many followers do I have on Twitch now? I haven't streamed in Twitch in about a year. Let me find out. I got about 12,000 followers on Twitch. <sighs> Okay, so what I really want is a church. So I make people happy, which is going to help boost my um, approval, which then helps boost my population. I want to do that beforehand. Uh, we just need some more planks. Oh, we have another family in. Nice. Because there's food variety and there's just like access to food. So food variety means that 
obviously there's a variety of food. Actual food just means, you know, people aren't starving to death. Let's get some more residential plots. Residential. Where's residential over here? Ten more timber for that. Let's build to learn. Got three more houses. Okay, drop him off. That should be fine now. I'll assign one person to Mr. Log over here. Thirty-five planks. Is that enough? Yeah. Uh, we now need timber, ironically. Uh, I need to make sure I've, I'm going to always have 10 in timber construction. So so one thing that I, um, I like and dislike about this game is that this whole like construction reserve stuff to make sure that you always have resources on standby. You have the same thing with the trading system. Uh, I think is good. I think it needs to go a little bit further personally um, just so you can fully customize the ins and outs going to stuff. How long is a game cycle? I should put myself on the other side, shouldn't I? So then you can see the year and the month and stuff. So give me a second. I need to figure out how to do that. Transform. The horizontal. I don't like being on this side, though, because it makes me feel weird. There you go. Now you can see August and that sort of thing. I don't think much happens in the bottom left, at least. Okay. Let's get ourselves a place of worship. Where should we put it? This is prime real estate, so I mean, I'll put it, I'll put it out, out here, or I could put it, I could put it way out the way. What do you think? Way out the way on top of a hill? I mean, the way out the way on top of a hill will be over here and make it like very commanding, you know, up here. What do you think? Highest spot, closer to God, sounds good to me. Okay, where's the roads? There you go. They don't have, they actually have that much food variety. Some people aren't even eating. Another bandit camp, that's fine. So what do we have now? We've got a bunch of firewood, a bunch of planks, a bunch of stone. Let's check someone in the granary just so they're constantly peddling goods. I think that's how it works anyway. Feel free to tell me if that's not how it works. Okay. So once we have the church up running, people should start wanting to join. Hey! <laughs> as if on cue. I think this man's just joined a, a market stall, which is nice. Okay, so next sort of layer of things. I kind of want a tannery, and then people have their clothing needs fulfilled. Let's keep that close over here, so then they don't need to move too far. Is that, why is there just a big field in the middle of my town? What big field? This is a marketplace. This is where people go to sell their goods. It's getting September, so it's going to be winter soonish. Upgrade this to a small stable. Let's 
because logistics are a big part of this game, right? Like, getting things to and from places. That is a horrible road. Let's go inspect this road personally. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's, that's a horrible road. If you go along the horrible road, a little bit beyond it, there's a marketplace down there. Go all the way. See, you see how how um, how long this takes. I can play Life by You um, by Pirates of Doom, probably. I'll give it a shot. I wanted to play Sims Medieval. That'll be fun. I've got a couple ideas for videos. But yeah, up here is gonna be where the the church is. The shepherd can tend his flock. All right, there's a small stable. Let's order another ox. We'll get a family sign to logistics. Lots and lots of English towns have big fields in the middle of them for markets and social events. Any town with green at the end is probably one of them. That's actually, I didn't know that. It's quite good. Kingdom come made that great with the big market and skeleton skeleton. Dude, I mean, I, I cannot wait for Kingdom come too, man. Like, yeah, that's going to be sick. Did anyone play, like, any of you play the first one? Like, the Kingdom Come, it, it, like, Deliverance, is, it was so good. It was so good. It, I got super frustrated with the combat system until I realized my game was bugged. I had to restart. Once I did, it was good stuff. It was a, a good amount of fun, that. Get someone going in the tannery. If you want a challenging city builder, there's always banished. I don't know what banished is. Construction finished, clothing stall, and we've got another. I think some more people in the house. Residing families one out of one. Zero one. Okay, so we still have space. Do you wish it was a bit more than like, okay, people just turn up in your town? It's kind of hard to do that though. All right, so they're gonna start building the church. It is very far away. Like this is not optimally built at all. I don't know, that, but that, that's fine. I don't mind things not being uh, optimally built. Okay, this deposit is gonna shrink soon. So let's get as much of it as possible. Why would the British Cyprus? Edgar Suffolk, man, he, he he runs that town. I've got another Mandalor video coming out tonight, but it's um, yeah, it's it's hard as setting stuff. It's not, it's not. Oh god, they sold twelve hides. That's a lot of hides. How much? Like, is that? I think that's everything. Yeah, that's every hide we've we've had. That's twelve. Christ. setting I'll deal with them come the summer well actually come the winter here goes our church right get the fence going it's very satisfying watching people build things there you go oh god they don't actually have water access I should probably do that. Uh, there's a well. Oh, perfect. The well runs right through the town. I'm going to put it in the marketplace. Can't quite do that, can I? Um, we'll put it here. That'll, that'll, look, that'll look nice. Alright, how do you have homeless people? I, I don't. Where are the homeless people? I don't think there are homeless people. Elias, sir. Or madam. Oh, I can make a really cursed house. I would do that, but I think my viewers would, would sort of drop in half. It said in... Oh, what? Well, yeah, why do I have homeless people? <laughs> You're right. Why does it say homelessness? <laughs> Get more people doing that. 
guy in the granary collecting the, ber the berries. You are going to be hunting, logging. Uh, I'll get one family on logistics. I don't know where the other ox is. I think I just got robbed. <laughs> oh no, he's there. I just didn't know where it was. Chop down some wood. It's about to be winter soon. Do the curse house. I'm tempted. Who needs water when you have God? Exactly, man. Uh, let's get this granary guy to not do that. I don't know what he's doing anyway, to be honest. Okay, we have the two oxen. It's nice. Right, and approval's going up. Sweet. Gotta fulfill these desires. Look at that. We can actually get a level 2 guy right now. I'm not gonna do that because otherwise they get pissy because they don't have a level 2 church and three different types of food and fuel and they want different types of clothes and it's a mess. I see enough water in the sky. You want us to tell me you don't need, Marek, water? Is that what you're saying? Because frankly, that's that's you're either a liar or you are simply built different. Got some leather and hides there. Some leather for that. Don't actually have enough food variety, dude. But the weird thing is, we have 14 months worth of food, so I'm not sure why it's not on the table here. You know, I don't know why we're not giving them giving the people berries. Just kind of want to collect as many berries as possible before winter sets in. And it's about to. Are there any rivers? Yeah, we don't have a river. Which, you know, might be a little bit of a cause for concern. Um, but yeah, we'll build a, a farm in the new in the new year. Otherwise, I think we're all good. I'm tempted to make a, a mine and get this clay deposit going. And upgrade the church even more. Because I'll upgrade the church to a stone church. I just need 10 clay. So let's screw it. Let's do that. Uh, we'll have to get the get it ready for when people aren't foraging anyway. Okay, the issue is... I need to make sure I can snap onto a road. Because it upsets me when that isn't the case. So we're going to do that. Yeah, mining pit. And then we'll get ourselves some industry. Clay furnace. This saved my run in the hardest one because I was like, okay, everyone is starving to death and everyone's upset all the time. But I had a lot of clay, so I just built a bunch of clay um, roofing tiles and then sold them on the market. But I want high population growth. I want to boom this population. Jesus, already? Living space is 12, family's 9. Yeah. And family moved in, perfect. They can run the furnace, and now it's December, so you're going to start to see this shrinking, yeah. Which will be fine. We have loads of firewood. They just don't want to put it on the thing for some reason. Let's upgrade to a large storehouse. So is it man or lords? That's a very deep question you ask. <laughs> Would you rather be a man or a lord? I don't know. Personally. Enjoying the game yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying it. That's why I'm playing it. That's why I'm making videos on it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it. Um, I will not tell you whether or not you should get this game. Because again, this is not an official review. This is merely gameplay. All this is a Muppet or a man. I'm gonna kill these bandits. Uh, I think what we'll do is get one set up, and then we're gonna we're gonna set up some uh, yeah, 
Son of, ooh, grow herbs now. We're gonna get ourselves a militia going. Where's the religion? Uh, it's over here. <laughs> Let's get some spearmen going. Equipment missing. What are they missing? Recruits missing. All right. Where there's there's two bandit camps. We're gonna go from one to the other. All right. All right. G give me a sec, because uh, as as we're going to war, it's only fitting. Dress appropriately. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me. I'll be honest, I can't actually see. So I'm going to hope that you can hear me. Alright. We're off. Stop running, they're fatigued already. Let's head and find out these bandits where they are. You can hear me? Okay. Good. Okay, chat, you're gonna need to yell if I'm not if I miss something, okay? For the What are you saying? Taking role playing to the next level. I'm about to join these boys, you have no idea. Are we even playing? I can't see because. Weirdly enough, it's not the helmet that's restricting my vision. It's the fact that my hair's in my eyes and I can't brush it out. But yeah, cheeky winter campaign, never hurt anyone. Where are my spearmen? Ow, my eye. I can't see anything. Where are the spit? There they are. Dude, this really hurts my nose. Okay. There's something poking into my eye as well. I, I am not wearing this correctly. Weirdly enough, I don't have that much uh, experience putting on it. That's actually not true. I, I used to do like Kima for a little while. You know, like the, the, uh, the whole historical martial arts thing? One sec. Ow. There we go. It was the buckle that was, uh, was hurting me. There we go, that's so much better. Okay, whoa, 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 what's going on? Okay. So they're coming for us. We have 101% effectiveness. And we're gonna do one better. I told you I was joining them. Where are they? Where are my boys? There they are. Right, we're going into battle, lads. Where the visor up? No. This is fine. Go on, boys. Which side's mine? <laughs> Presumably the spearmen. Go on, lads. Get him. Oh, I'll help out. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I'm not meant to do any of the fighting. I'm here for pure moral support. But this is why I wanted to capture a couple of extra men. Let's see if any of them die. Look, there's one dude in the back just cheering on his boys. This is assumedly that's their general. Right, hopefully we win this, otherwise this is going to get real... Oh, I think we're losing. Uh-oh. Okay, sweet. We broke him. Did we lose any men? A glorious victory in a beer. This looks ridiculous without the uh, without the the front of it on. I can't just take off the face part. Yes, <laughs> quite. All right, I think we won. Ow! God, my face! Ow! Oh! Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> it's that real helmet. I mean, it feels like a real helmet. 
Oh god. Oh the bridge of my nose. We saw so like coming except you, but I couldn't read the chat, could I? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the helmet. Um I'll wear that. I don't know when I'll wear it. But I could also, with the things on the side, I could take it out and wear it like half plate. <laughs> I will that visor down. Why would you will it down? All right, did we lose anyone? No. Uh, so let's go do with the other ones as well. Same thing as before. So we want as much cohesion as possible by just spreading out. They kind of flank us a little bit. Okay. Hopefully we don't lose anyone. Is it Did we get flanked by him? Okay, they're pushing aggressively. We might lose one or two here. Okay, we lost one guy. That's actually kind of bad. But we do get to the bandit camp, which is going to give us a load of regional wealth. And it'll stop that. So, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I'll go get this stuff. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to win the battles first. That's uh, one, and then go get the other one. All right, we're going to send the resources to the nearest town. Buy a bunch of ox with that, which is the plan. And I'm trying to get a thousand um, influence as much as possible. Like, as quick as possible, really. So, so why would not upgrade my church? Thank you. Check to the nearest town. Okay. Let's head home. Fantastic winter campaign, that chaps. Might, I think you can clip things on YouTube, right? Why, could someone clip the, the mask falling? I think it'd be a funny short. So, uh, yeah, do me a favor. Thank you. What were the sins, though? Of what? To who? What sins? Alright, so we're going to try and get some meat in here. Let's get some more in the granary, sort of that. So there should be people making clay stuff. How much clay do we have? Six roof tiles. I clipped it. Check layer clips. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's um, shall I chat? Shall I shall I bring it up now? You guys want to have a look? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, this is game out. Not just yet. All right, lad clips. Professional night. Give me a sec, chaps. There we go. Yes. I can just take off the face bar. Okay. Yes. Fight. That just is the most precarious thing I've ever seen. Dude, look like you can see it hurts so bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thanks for that. Appreciate that. Dude, that stung. <laughs> my nose, I don't know if you can see, my nose is like, it's not good. Alright, we have a bunch of, we actually don't have a bunch, jump a bunch of points, I lied. Alright, new family start moving in, which means we need to create more birch plots. <laughs> Dude, I'm in so much pain. Alright, we'll make the we'll make the curse looking looking ones. So here you can see the fertility, and we did not get lucky. My god. <laughs> we these are these are really infertile lands. Okay. Um maybe we shouldn't build yeah, that's bad. That's so bad. We need 75, I think, for, for high population growth. Ah, oh, next time to do an entire CK3 gameplay with that helmet. I kind of wanted to do one where I have, like, different physical restrictions. Like, for example, like, I'm playing E4 CK3 or just a stream where, like, I have to sprint on the spot whilst playing. I have to not blink. I have to wear a helmet. I have to, like, you know, that, that sort of stuff. It could be, um, that'd be fun. Oh, 
another burgage plot. We have a load of wealth that we can use. Uh, another thing I need to do is make the mana. Need 20 planks for that. Bandit camp sighted. Do I want to go for it now? If it's close, I will. <laughs> Spawned so far away. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't, I don't really. I'd rather people get on with it. And we get a bigger population because look, we're getting like large morale now. So yeah. Ugh, the ground looks real weird now. It's starting to melt. Okay, this could be bad attack, which is usually two retinues of sixteen. So that could be a problem. That could be a massive problem. What's your response playing? Cold Thidge and Equestria War. I intentionally ignored that. Okay, so these are brigands for hire that are hired by the Lord, uh, like the Baron. So hopefully he's going to go and deal with the ba with the bandits, even though we well, won't clear the camp is the only issue. Okay, we have enough roofing tiles now. We can upgrade the church. I think we can build a manor. I need more timber for that. All right, and it's almost March, but yeah, we have no fertility. So yeah, that's that's kind of sucks. There's a Baron. They're hired by the Baron. Oh God, it's Armored Baron. Oh God, I know whose side he's on. So you should run around selling things, which means you should have all the food varieties you need. Probably need a bit more like clothing. Oh, we, we have a bunch, so we can get someone going on the tannery. What kind of war crimes can you commit in this game? Um, I don't know that you can commit war crimes. You can commit crimes against your own populace. I don't know if that counts as a war crime per se. My favorite thing about like playing early access and then having people watch it is you have no idea how hard or easy something is. So a YouTuber can go, this is the most insane challenge of all time. You're like, wow, that's that kind of, that that's that's huge. Or they'd be like, this is super easy. You play like this mother, like I did not know it was gonna be this tricky. Um, but I do have a challenge coming up today, which is very, very hard. And you'll see that by the amount of tries it took me. Okay, we do not have enough for that. Uh, I want to assign a permanent livestock to him. And then we'll get another hitching post. Get a hitching post on the other side of town, because I'm sure I'm going to start building over there. I'll put it on this crossroads. Yeah, I I build I I would build a, a field and, and farm, but like there is no I guess there's fertility up here. We wouldn't be able to make it in time. Um, well, we could try, I guess. I mean, it's by the church. Do we do we want to farm by the church? That feels like a sin. We'll farm by the church. I'm sure he won't mind. Quite a small farm, though. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the church won't mind. <laughs> Look at the fertility, so bad, man. Countryside church. I mean, we're trying to we're trying to make this urban, right? That's the whole point. All right, should be our uh, berries should be growing now as well. So I have enough six. I need two more timber. I don't even that many planks. Let's assign you to the berries, which should be back soon. There you go. Does remind you of England faith? I don't know what that means, but sure, yes, it does. There we go. Uh, what was it? 
was I trying to do? I want to build more homes before I build a mana. Let's get this population booming. Because there's so many things I need to build in such a little time. It's already April. Let's find about crop rotation of his own accord on people's staff. I don't care about that, man. Use crop rotation to increase productivity. But that would require it not being active. You know? I don't want that. Alright, let's drop you two. You guys can help at the farm. We don't need any more roofing tiles or anything else like that. Guess what? Believe it or not, straight to the farm. There's no way we actually get any crops from this. Not this time. It's your birthday today, so of course I'm watching your vids in this live stream. Hey, yo! Happy birthday, Ruby. Oh, what's all right, everyone type in happy birthday, Ruby. Like, immediately. Just drop what you're doing. If you're eating dinner, spit out your food. Type it out. Happy birthday, Ruby. What is happy birthday? Let's be nice. My birthday tomorrow, Klaus. Well, turn up again tomorrow, Klaus. You're shit out of luck today. There you go. Look at that. We're a nice community. Just not to me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, we've got a small stone church now, which should again boost this so we just immediately get people in. Hey, Armored Baron Gifton 5, presumably because of, uh, because of Ruby. Happy birthday. There you go. Nice little celebration. Did, it, did Ruby get one? It would be amazing if they did. Tessa's back in the lad. I'm wondering, hey, what do you get by becoming a lad? Well, first off, you get access to lad-only content. Uh, every, for example, every week I do a... Uh, I do a, uh, a liaising with Lathe. Uh, which is basically where I chat about the channel and, and what I'll be doing soon. And just, just generally a little bit of a, an insight. Uh, we also have lad-only streams occasionally um as well as uh lad only videos now because i'm editing one of the streams into a video so there's that so there you go thank you for your day well you're welcome i wish i could gift the uh, lad membership to you directly but uh, alas i i cannot all right let's get these lads foraging um and i want to turn them into dyes as well as industry Uh, do that over here. My lad wants more. Our life cannot be rid of me no matter how many times he put into the, puts off the D&D stream idea. Mate, I... I will put it this way. If Koi Fish and Simo don't get their act together, we'll do it without them. <laughs> I, have every, I have all the pieces in place. Well, that one's my grated. Okay, they're still here. That's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to go take out this bandit. It's already gone. I think it already got taken out. Because I want the extra... Hmm. I say I want the extra influence. What I can do, though, is get a tithe going after I built my mana. I'm going to build my mana over here. You, you have, like, this whole, like, castle planner. Um, that's probably, like, one of my least favorite aspects of this game is the castle planner. Because, like, you build it here. And, like, yeah, th this stuff, it's nice and all. But it doesn't actually, a lot, so firstly, some of it doesn't do anything, which is okay. But the towers and the walls, if you, you if you build anything outside, you can't build anything inside of it, if that makes sense. Like, Montu, for example, the Stellaris YouTuber ran into this issue. I think he was streaming it, so I'm not sure. Uh, which can be a little bit frustrating. But this will increase our retinue size, so we're just going to put it right here. <laughs> we can edit this later, of course. Obviously, it's pretty early on, but um, anything if, they have a, if they'll have a multiplayer option. I don't know if they will. It would be cool to see a multiplayer option. I don't see any reason why it couldn't be. Like, there's nothing here. Like, look at, for example, Bannerlord. Um, and you look at that and you think that, like, you can see why that doesn't have a multiplayer option. 
Um, but this, we, we, nothing suggests to my uned, uh, uneducated eyes that you couldn't have something, you know? All right, let's start doing this. We're gonna upgrade a few of these. More timber for that, apparently. Uh, what I also want to do is, on some of these level one things, I want to start creating chicken coops, because that is gonna give us some extra food. Order another ox of it. We'll crack on. Can't wait to get access to this. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad. It's always fun when people are excited. And um, I, to the dev's credit, it's very active on Twitter. Um, so you can sort of see the development and follow it in real time. And I wish that, like, that was more of a norm. You can sort of see the game being made bit by bit. And the developers, like, testing things out. Because then there were times where someone suggests something. You went, ah, yeah, awesome. I'll try that out. You know? Um, and that kind of stuff's really cool. It's always great to see. All right, I'm going to run out of living space pretty soon. So let's uh, do this. And then this. We'll build some more large plots. Uh, is the mana done? No, the mana is still, not, still under construction. Christ. I need to get my logistics thing sorted. That looks weird. I'm doing it. It does. The snapping works quite well. You, create, you can create some funky stuff, but it feels like a medieval peasant just went and like hammered away at it versus anything else, you know? Got another oxen just to help with logistics again. Two weeks to 1v1 in Man Lords. Yeah, sure. I mean, actually, no, I'm not. Screw it. One we want me on Man Lords. Oh, wait. You don't have access. Oh, no. <laughs> and also, let's not forget, I got this. How are we going to do when I pull up in that? Nothing. Because I'll just knock myself out. Every Hooded Horse published game I've played have loved. Um, Hooded Horse are all fun, guys. Um, I know a couple of those guys. They're great. I can, I can honestly never say I've never had a bad experience with any of them. Um, they're, they're fantastic. They're the reason I have this helmet. Man Lords plus Hooded Horse sent me the uh, helmet and obviously organized the early access. So I've met a couple of them uh, at Gamescom as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, all, they're all great guys. Let's order another ox. Let's add uh, a family over there. To help with that. Okay, we unlock policies, which are kind of early access. Um, but you could, for example, do sit and skip every fifth meal, reduce food, food consumption. Uh, what I think would serve this game really well is different scenarios. I think I think they would work. Uh, different conditions, like even slight ones, where you've got oh, um, oh you got this three starting scenarios. I think I'm a little bit far away. Uh, three like starting scenarios, which is cool. But it would be cool if you had like different ones as well. Um, do you have all your needs met? You need a tavern. I forgot about the tavern. Ha, huh, that's going to suck. So for a tavern, I need ale. I need basically a barley field. And then I need to turn that barley into... Uh, I need to turn that barley into malt. And then that malt into... Uh... Uh, ale, right? Uh, through a backyard extension. But the, the thing is, you can just order it. But I don't want to do that. Um, because trade is a little bit too easy, in my opinion. So I kind of want to be... Yeah. I wanna, I'm gonna, I've want i got two, like, runs planned. One where it's completely self-sufficient. And one where it's, uh, like, complete capitalist. Like, just, you don't don't produce anything. I want to see how far I can get with that. Uh, get with that. A lot of the videos you've seen on this, video, on this game show trade to be OP. Yeah, trade trade does lead. Like, if trade was a little bit more 
fluctuating at all. You have to really secure your trade and really f heavily focus on it. Um, or, I don't know. Um, I feel like in a medieval era, trade is kind of, un it's kind of unreliable. Um, so it would be nice to have a bit of that represented. If that makes sense. I'm going to get another field just getting ready for next time. Barley. Farming. There is no barley fertility at all. Like over here is the best we're going to get. Put another farmhouse down, even though that guy would come over here and deal he'll, he'll come over here and deal with this as well. It just looks nicer. So if I he'll go and plow that field, right? No? Okay. So autumn he'll go and plow. Okay. Th there are so many Forages, and we still can't get through all of these things. How many, how, many, how many berries do we have? We got enough food for 12 months. Now we're getting some eggs as well. Uh, so where's that dyer's workshop? Uh, let's also... I need to import some livestock anyway. We'll get a pasture going, like, over... I don't want the fertile lands, so over here maybe. Rye would be great. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get it over here. Buy someone's house. That works. Now we have pasture. We're gonna need to import some livestock, so let's grab that from the trade. That's a trading boost. Okay, cool. Have high one assault caravans. You have to hire guards for it. Yeah, like if you make it a, an expensive endeavor where like you invest all your money up front instead of it just comes and you trade and sell, you put in an order and there's a chance it doesn't come through depending on how stable the region is. Like this public order thing, if that goes down, then you suddenly have really bad um, issues. That would be really cool. Uh, but it's kind of hard. Do you think you're going to live in the Susan Main Street? Absolutely. I'm not finished with it. I haven't touched the game since um, um, since I uh, since I. I'm not streaming it, so yeah, I'm obviously going to do more of those. I'm going to be away for the next couple of days, but I'll be back next week. And uh, first of all, back's going to be a suzerain stream plus some other things as well. Man is plowing it. Let's get a road. Most direct road you'll ever see. There you go. Okay, let's... Uh, don't have much any much clay left, so I don't want to do too much with that. Logging camp's fine. Tannery's fine. Grab one of these. Let's get a dyer's workshop going. I want to put down another foraging hut. Uh, livestock trading post, let's do that. Let's also get some trade. I want loads of sheep, so let's import to the point where we have 10 sheep. And we'll use the wool. Oh, what? Direct roads look unnaturally ugly. I don't know how to make winding roads, man. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, so what I also want is... Where is the gathering side? I think over here. Another foraging thing. Right, so this one. Make that a high priority. And let's crack on. Yeah, look at that. That's messed up. I love it. I've made a residential area.
That's actually a decent amount of growth happening here. Okay. Looks so cursed. Man is designing American suburbs. <laughs> yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Huh? Fight me. So the backyard extension, um, these, this will create artisans. So they'll be able to make things like shields and spears and stuff. Bandit camp was sighted. Where? Oh, it's actually close by. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna do, go deal with this now. I need to get there before he does. Because this will give me enough influence. I want to claim the region. What region do I claim? I mean, this is berries, which we already have. This one has iron. It's iron rich. Although this is kind of... Hmm, that might be too direct of a confrontation. Maybe I go for like this one first. But it's not It's not rich in iron. This one's, this one's rich in clay though. Ah, screw it. I'm not a coward. I'm gonna claim up north. This title should be trying to make the most cursed medieval village in Manalog. No. Bye, stream. We've got to go to bed. Thanks for wishing, ladies and chat. Well, I hope you had a good birthday. Uh, enjoy. Sweet dreams. Effectiveness is bad because of climbing cohesion. Okay, just stand still then. Oh, the issue is it's September. It's harvesting season. Alright, maybe we can grab some people to go farm. Uh, let's grab some more of you. Let's grab this guy. Let's grab the tanner. Grab one of the woodcutters. And two more. Okay, we need the livestock trader in. There you go. Oh, the boys are standing firm. They're not happy because they're surrounded by trees. But they're experienced, so they know what they're doing. Ideally, we don't lose a single man here. We lost the we lost the man. Excellent. We lost two men. Christ. We're gonna need to grab more spears and stuff because right now these guys, yeah, they're not the best equipped. So usually you can create new. Okay, cool. We claim this region. Usually you can cl cl create new units and stuff. I can't actually get anything from this region just yet, even though it's mine. Uh, I'm gonna direct it to my treasury. So we actually, we've got 170 days before disaster strikes. Did it harvest? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get ourselves some food. And then even though they're unhappy, uh, I'm gonna get some more burgage plot twos. Alright. Where's the farming? Alright, let's get Q11. Nice okay, production of tools, spears, and sidearms. So you're going to be a blacksmith. I'm gonna upgrade you to level two. I'm gonna upgrade you to level two. We'll go from there. <laughs> you found me in Newcastle, nice. Okay. 
Okay, most people are done. Back to normal then. I, I, this is the issue. I don't know where I put him. Okay, they're still foraging. Hunting camp is still hunting. Dying workshop is still dying. The graveyard? I don't need graveyard. People don't die. Well, they don't die within my borders at least. So over here, by the way, uh, I cannot like build anything over here. Can I? Not enough goods. Apparently I can build over here. I didn't know that. All right, there you go. Look, and I'll select this region. So each region has its own distinct goods. So what I need first is a settling camp. For that, I need 250 gold. And that'll set them as if, like, we're at the start, if that makes sense. So each region is distinct, but we can set up a barter post over here with trade. Is it with trade? No, it's, is it with logistics, is it? Yeah, there you go. Barter collection. Send and receive goods between this and other regions in command. So you can have specialized regions. So this one could be the stone one, and then this one's going to be the iron one. Ideally, I get my iron from, you know, there. But in the meantime, I need to be able to create my own iron, and I have 157 days to do it. The only issue is it's now not showing the other one. If I go on to... Where's Newcastle? Uh oh. There we go. There's Newcastle. Uh, I need a mine. Do need a bloomery as well. Let's put the bloomery here. And then we are going to have ourselves a our mining pit. Obviously, I need a road there first. There we go. Let's construct ourselves this mining pit. There you go. Bang. This field's actually getting plowed. So our settlement level has increased. I'm tempted to go down this either charcoal kiln because I've never done it before. And then maybe get deep mining. Or I can go for a blacksmith to get better uh, better uh, helmets and stuff. What do you reckon? Kind of want to go the blacksmith route. Seems fun. Either that or I go for trade stuff. If the kingdom on uh, taxes level is reasons occasionally, no. How likely are you to be attacked? We're getting attacked in 170 days. You make a good point. I should do that. Make ourselves an armorer. You know what? I'm not going to make a communal oven. I'm going to instead make a baker. I can't make a baker. I'm an idiot. That requires a branch of the tree. Let's, uh, let's remake this communal oven. I just didn't like it there. I wanted it to be uh, yeah here. That's why. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course. I don't make mistakes. You make mistakes. Pantry is full. Forager hut. Well then, just I don't know. We'll fix it.
Put it in the other forage up. Okay, so I need a joiner to make shields. I need... A... Okay, so we have a blacksmith, right? Do you have the blacksmith? Blacksmith, armorer, joiner, and someone to make clothes. Like a tailor. I think he needs linen for that. There we fine. These guys also pay me uh, money. Well, they pay the regional wealth, and then I can take the regional wealth like this. Texas, and I, I, I get people to give me land tax. Or, or I give them to do a tithe, which I'm going to do. 11% tithe. We already have, like, almost 100 people in this town. Look at the linen, bro. Well, I'm not learning the wool. The wool is big. Oh, right. That's that's another thing I need. Um, a sheep farmer. Run away from everyone else because it's a bit weird, I think. I also need to need another some more logistics. Okay, we've got another one of these. So, I'm thinking. We get a heavy plow. Then we can plow or get sheep breeding. Let's get sheep breeding. That sounds fun. I should have got a heavy plow, but sheep breeding sounds really fun. I also need another woodcutter's lodge. Meal oven. Get someone in the windmill. Uh, I actually need these guys to sow crops. They haven't sowed any crops yet, so um, we need to do that like ASAP. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's kind of on me. That's that's really dumb. That's uh, not my finest moment, I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I need more people. Eh, maybe. Mining pit done. Okay, so we've got two more level two bogus plots. Can we get archers? We need, we're gonna make a boyer. And then we are going to make a brewer. Because again, I want to import as little as possible. Okay, sewing process was done. I think we're good. Go back to your regularly scheduled programming over here. Thank you. So we're going to be mining. This is kind of coming along making bread. We need more clothing. That's fine. So does the tailor need? I think he needs linen, right? I like cloaks, dude. Everyone loves cloaks. So the sheep farmer, and now we need a weaver. See how much, like, how many... We were literally just a moment ago just focused on farming. Now everyone's doing everything. Get a weaver. Am 
Right, I think everything's full now. Okay, we've eight people unassigned. Chuck two in over there. Someone else can go back on the saw pit. You need to help out over here as well. We need a weaver. We've already got a sheep farmer who's got 20 wool. Dyer's workshop. We need one of those. Tanner needs to go back to work. I think we're all good. I think we're good anyway. Look, eggs are a big part of our diet right now. 100 is way too small for the division of labor desire. I, pff, nah, it's fine. These guys love labor. They live for labor. I just, what I do uh, is I, I just demand more of my people over and over and over again. And then I flog them until they give me what I want. Okay, so you're making helmets. Good. Joiner. You need to be making large shields. What do you need for that? Just planks. Yeah, perfect. Fletcher shop. You just make a fletching stuff in a brewery. You also make a brewery stuff. Okay, so we still need spears. Why are you making swords, bro? We need spears. We've almost already run out of iron. This is fine. To be our most ambitious expansion yet. Bang. That's right, we're doing it. While thinking in a thousand years, they'll record Geordie Shore in this village. I know, right? You wouldn't expect that from here, but there it is. Nonetheless. Alright, still have high provision growth. Okay. What I'm also going to need in preparation for, for March is a tavern, which we're going to put over here. Uh, and we're also going to need a malt house. Do I want to put over, like, nearby the tavern? Over here. I think that's everything we need. Oh, we should... Yeah, there we go. Now things are starting to get made. Everyone's got helmets, which is nice. And then when we get more people in, um, we switch our burgage plots. Should be good to go into uh, into getting armor. Remember, we're getting attacked in 26 months. 26 days, sorry. Oh, we are not ready for that. We need war bows. We need you to work faster. We need everyone to work faster. You know what? Clothes come, can come later. I need I need gamisons. We don't have any linen though. Okay, we'll just go for that then. Get more men in the mining pits. Get more men in the bloomery. I don't know how to, to be honest, get more retinues. Okay, more house and tavern are being made. We already upgraded the church, right? Yeah, we already did that. Bandit camp is closed. We're about to get attacked in six months. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Realistically, I don't think there's anything else. We don't need tools for anything. We do need the gold, so we'll go off of that bandit camp. We said expanding the military. Well, the military is sort of as large as it's going to get right now. Where are they coming from? Near Nusselho, they said. Yeah, that's them. Is there only 18? Okay, I'm massively overreacted to this. 
Okay. About to crush these guys. So the key part is I want to engage them outside, even though it's better for us to, we have more morale in our home region, because otherwise I have to clean up their bodies. Run away, run away, run away, run away. I've actually destroyed my own army's effectiveness. Okay, now we're going to run back into our own land, or close to our own lands. Dude, you have to kill one of them at least. Who's Will? Why are we shooting at him? Dude, I've made the effect of a 16. Uh oh. That works though. That that really works. Okay. This is working really well. Archers are kind of kind of powered boys. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Huh. Where's this bandit camp? It's close by, I'll go grab it. It's not. But I mean... Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll come back for the... For after. We'll come back, like, later. That's gone well. That was far fewer than I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. How'd I get Mana Lord? Uh, the fine folks over at Hooded Horse reached out um, and gave it to me, which is very, very kind of them. But yeah, come, the se come September, we should be in a nice, nice place. Alright, we've got guys in the bloomery. We have... We need more food, actually. Hmm. Well, okay, see the deposits are growing. You know what that means? Up in. There we go. We've basically run out of iron. Which isn't so good. There's so many berries. What do you mean you would run out of food? Plenty of food. I mean, the eggs do help. Which is why I've got them. Did not mean to click that button. But, you know, that's fine. Got a bunch of chicken coops. Uh, and then the other ones are going to be veggies. I didn't mean to spend that well. I'm an idiot. I forgot that. You researched the lace yet? <laughs> no. I hate you. All right, deposit exhausted. Mining pit. We don't have any mines anymore. All right, we just need to wait for September. That's when uh, things really get going. The unemployed guys all move into 
foraging. For example, the tailor is always going to create stuff. I'd like for there to be a limit, but he's going to constantly make clothes like the entire time. Um, and then the joiner is going to constantly make large shields. It'd be nice to be able to stop that because otherwise he takes all of my things. So in order to stop the production, I kind of have to just demolish the house. Get a tanner, make sure that's all good. We've got a weaver going. How many lives do we got? Hey, 13 now. Sweet. And there's massively high approval. I'm even going to get a, a churchman. There's everything. I might grab two of these guys and build some more uh, burgish bots. Hope you don't mind the smell of sheep. There's a pause button in the workshops. Nice. It's really hella quiet. I'm I'm sorry about that. I don't. I had to get better <laughs> speakers. Okay, you can because my main crystal was you can pause the joiner. Let's see. Let me let me test this out. Make sure I'm not getting gaslit. <gasps> nice. Okay, that's good. But I wouldn't like to pause it. That's the thing. I'd like I'd like for it to to be automatic to the point where I can be like, hey, like for example, the trade system over here, I can say, I want to this amount, buy up until this amount, sell up until this amount. It'd be cool if I could do that over here. All right, where's the blacksmith? And pulls blacksmith. Just have more resources. Well, there's a finite amount. Any burgish pots level three now to, to level up to us to a large village, which really isn't that hard. But then they'll demand even more stuff. I need some ale before then. Dude, look at the barley. Look at the yield, man. Could specialize more. I uh, let's get a uh, trading post. I no, you know what? I, I want to stay self-sufficient. I don't want a trading post. I'll do as much as I need to. Let's get um, some more logistics hubs going. Let's get a uh, hitching post. What am I looking at? Okay, here we go. Hitch post. We'll put it over over here on this side. Let's apparently increase the efficiency of the windmill. And then we'll order two more oxen. If you poor, just buy a house. Easy. Very easy. All right, let's upgrade that. I'm gonna get two more oxen, and then I'm gonna sign a family to help out with those. I stole two wool. <laughs> see, invisible raids and stuff. A little bit annoying because I can't see it happen. I can't see the bandits turn up and I can't defend against it apart from going to their camp. Like, I don't know how you'd implement that. So I feel like a little bit of a, a negative Nelly, as one might say. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too keen on that. But this wheat's growing very nicely. All right, I need a malt house, don't I? Oh, I've already got brewery. Yeah, and then he'll, he'll give us stuff in the tavern, which is exactly what we want to see. Continue randomize new world. I, pff, I'm tempted, man. I don't know if it got enough views for me to justify it, because it kind of, kind of sucks to play. Okay, we are gonna increase taxes. Chuck a 10% tax on. Screw it, 20% tax. And I'll start trickling money into our treasury, and also these level two, oof, these level two guys will do the same thing. They'll start giving me money. The 
forage is full. Uh, I guess let's get a wood uh, stone cutter for now, just because I might as well. But everything's running as it should. Everything's running pretty smoothly. You see the mad rush is going to happen at the end in uh, August. Hopefully we'll set lands up north. Yeah, that's the plan. I get enough cash, and then I go for it. But I could go now, I guess. Mm, we'll wait until afterwards, because if I go and raid this, I can then siphon the wealth to myself and then put down the, uh, the second settlement. The town have no horses? Yeah, I don't need horses. Why would I need horses? I, I, I genuinely don't know what horses are for. I feel dumb saying that, but I don't. Okay, more residential areas, I guess. More barge plots. That's a pasture. Where should I put them? I guess here. There you go. Chuck them there. You would have thought of holy eggs the economy was skyrocket. This is true. I mean, our economy is basically berries and eggs. Like, we're all vegetarian. I don't know what happened to the meat. I guess it's not enough to sustain us. The game eventually boiled towards horse collar slash plows. You can get a plow. That's what you mean. Okay, let's grab some other stuff in the storehouse. Got a sidearm in there. Man's packing heat. Some small shields. Okay, I don't think we need any more of this, like, of the Fletchers. Any more of the Joiners. Or the Armourers. Or the Blacksmith. Definitely Brewery. Cavalry, mate. <laughs> Well, we don't have the ability to get cavalry, do we? So these are mercenaries. Steal from the rich and give it to the poor. Those have extremely tight hosen. I can hire a bunch of these guys. Look at that. Light mercenaries. You can see their stats there. They're actually, not that expensive either. I genuinely have an aversion to using things like trade and uh, and mercenaries. Just because I, I like being completely self-sufficient against this. I find it more fun. When it hits September, we're going to gather everything. But look at that little town, huh? That looks kind of cool. I like the look of this. Okay, I think, Bloomery, I think you're done. Yeah. I don't have enough for an ox. I have a guy just sort of standing there. Okay, well, you don't be there, do you? Uh, you can help out with the other stable. Hi, Mothers, we hate your village. Why? When is the game fully released? The 26th. Is the soil type is in certain crops grow better in certain areas? Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Our areas, unfortunately, are just really infertile. Like, it kind of sucks. Wow, okay, wheat is 2%. I really should have checked this. Wheat's 2% yield. It's 2% suited. That's horrible. I need to leave that. Okay, yeah, we didn't got to leave these fall uh, fallow next year. Rely on berries. We have a lot of berries. Like a lot of berries. Grab some more wood casing. Ooh, yep, they're all good. Not using crop rotation. I, I, this is my first harvesting season in Bali. I didn't do anything. The ground is just like hostile. It hates me. I suppose stocks. There's just not enough people. Uh, I guess I can check someone else in the pantry. Where's the granary? There we go. Oh, September. Okay, that means... Let's get everyone out of here. No one over here. Don't need you. Alright, you're good. Tannery can stay. You you drop one of you. Drop two of you. One of you. It's farming time, boys. 
Because I would say in Bannerlord, it's almost harvesting. Well, it is harvesting season. Go! Harvest me, Bali! Yes! Harvest the barley. Harvest the wheat. Gather it all! Well, that should drop the storage. Yep, they're gonna go there. I should have, um, yeah, applied plot a thing to it. My back hurts with posture. Dude, I'm gonna turn sideways. My posture is fine. I have two things that, that disadvantage me the camera angle, and I have larger traps. That's just genetic. I cannot do anything about this. I get it from my father. It's like, it's not, this just is what it is. So it looks like I'm like, tr like, you want me to like, this is bad posture for me. That looks real bad. This is my normal, like, look, I cannot do anything about this. My traps are just big. Nothing I could do. Okay, so now the farmhouse should be done. We don't need all of you to do that. There you go. Let's chuck in one of the midwill, windmill, and one over the communal oven. So the tavern should soon be making ale. Okay, they're running to transport things. Where are you going? They're transporting things to the... What? <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go, there's ale. Miles is making ale. Now these guys have a tavern supply. If I had more food, which I could very easily do when bread hits the market, these guys all become a level 3. Or if I had meat. Or vegetables, like I had planned. Do 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 uh, Let's get the guys in the queen oven to make more bread. And where's the granary? He stole 14 berries. Honestly, mate, you're welcome to him. Why, why have they stored the wheat in this farmhouse? This one can become level three if had wealth. That's how uh, that's how that works. Anyway, chaps, I think I'm gonna call it there. I have uh, a flight to pack for tomorrow. Um, you'll find out very very soon where I'm flying. I think you'll find it pretty cool. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed Man Lords. Like I said, I've got a video coming out uh, very, very soon, literally tonight, uh, on the hardest challenge in, uh, in Man Lords. Um, and yeah, I hope that interests you, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.